some things just aren't adding up for me and like all of you, I'm just trying to figure it out. Hey, 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 it is your girl Abby, AKA New Age Coach here, and I am lighting the way for those on their way to the light. To my soul vibers, that is those of you who are already subscribed, thank you. Anyone new just tuning in, welcome. On this channel, we talk all things self and soul development. So if you like that vibe and wanna join the tribe, hit subscribe. I wrote a poem and normally I would just post my poem in my playlist, which I'll link above as well as below, my play by ear poetry playlist. And I would just post it with no explanation, no context and you know, that's what I love about art and poetry. It's subject to everyone's own interpretation, right? But for some reason, something inside is just telling me that I had to explain myself a little bit. You're your own content creator when you have a channel. You choose what goes up and what doesn't. And I've had some self-reflection and I understand and realize that the content that I'm choosing to share, especially during this global situation, right? I try to keep it through the lens of positivity and lightheartedness and playfulness and sharing me living my life, not me being scared of dying, but me living my life in this time, holding those that I can still hold in my family close to me and enjoying them and not being scared of them and knowing we're together. And of course that's with precaution and making sure we're being safe and taking all of this seriously. But in having these experiences that I've shared with you, like, me frolicking through the grass and doing arts and crafts and taking nature walks and celebrating these little small moments in life uh, such as theme nights like on the beach or you know mask or even the recent mother's day you know video that i posted and i realized there's always this little tinge in me as i share something like that that feels guilty and that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. The reason I've come to conclude through my own work, through my own internal introspection is because ultimately we're all one. We know that as a spiritual concept. And even though I'm fortunate to still have a job and to still be close to my family and to still um, have a roof over my head, I have to reconcile that there are people going through super, super difficult times right now who don't have a job who may have lost someone that they love, who is absolutely at rock bottom because of the world's circumstance. And I don't wanna be insensitive to that. And I realize that I'm one of these people that you know do talk about love and light and sharing this positivity because that's my truth. And if I feel it, it's valid. Everyone's experience in this is valid regardless what that is. And I don't wanna censor myself, that's why I'm sharing this because on the days like today where I start to question, wait a second, is what I'm doing right? You know, does it play with this idea of spiritual bypassing, you know, which is going all the way to the left and not looking at hard concepts like guilt and, you know, all of these darker aspects of our personalities? Or am I going too far to the other side um, where it's just all darkness, where we're feeding into, you know, what social media is telling us, the news is telling us, conspiracy theories, all of these types of topics that have been thrown out in our current, you know, environment. And what I've come to understand is there needs to be balance in the middle. And the way you're going to get to that balance is by doing your own research, asking your own questions, getting all the knowledge that you can and marrying that to your intuition. So as I've been thinking of concepts like guilt and of the content that I'm choosing to share and making sure I am sensitive and empathetic and really truly serving in this time, bringing a smile to people's faces in these dark hours, trying to live my own life authentically, I started to write this poem in a place of that to question, why are we stuck in our houses? Why don't we have all the facts? Why are we so scared right now? What is it that's actually going on that's making me feel this guilt for not fully committing to 
the external things I'm seeing that don't align what I'm feeling inside. Like these worlds don't match. And I'm not saying this poem, you have to agree. In fact, I welcome dialogue. I wanna hear from you. What is your experience right now? What feelings have you been grappling with? Where is it you're feeling called to dig a little deeper and peel back layers of yourself in looking at the world? So thank you for watching this video. Without much further ado, I welcome you to my poem, Your Decision. Alone together is a facade for false harmony when in actuality it stops you from marching to the drum of your own heartbeat. They keep singing the song that we're all getting along, but when you're truly tuned in, you know it feels off key. Some of us are resistant to pick up a pen or a book or be open to change our outlook, but right now is the time we need to get on the same page because a chapter of humanity is ending and we can't keep pretending that an intellectual warfare hasn't been waged. United we stand and divided we're falling for every lie they tell us now, but what they forget is that some of us remember who we are, the same dust that is found in a star, and we're lighting the way for those in this dark hour against those just hungry for power. We're trying so much to see with our eyes and I'm praying that people start to realize that we're blind to what's going on in front of our faces. False safety and masks that cover up the part of us that asks because they don't want us to question the control that they're tasting. This isn't all rainbows and butterflies because when one of us leaves this earth, a piece of all of us dies. And until we reconcile that we're in this together, we'll buy into the lie that being alone is our new forever, which is bullshit. Because no matter how hard they try to separate us, they underestimate our trust and that we were never alone to start with. Cyborgs and chips and artificial intelligence, you start to wonder who is who when things aren't making sense. And when you open the veil and peek behind the scenes, you realize we're not getting info from health experts or doctors, but instead a fan of vaccines. The immunity we need to be building is to deception and illusion. And I'm not here to give you your conclusion, but what I hope is that I can be the fusion that ignites you to bridge both intuition and knowledge. A spark that lights a fire for you to seek truth and pay homage to ancestors, God, mother nature, and the universe that have never let us down and still won't despite a system so perverse. Get with the program that television tells lies to your vision, that you can't trust everyone, but you can trust your intuition. Don't forget that you have a choice in all this. What you believe should always be your own decision.